Watch out. So the Scarface DLC was released after pretty much waiting all day long for this thing to be released. It finally did get released, downloaded, streamed it, and then decided to go in and do some solo stealth one down on this Scarface Mansion heist. Now, first impressions of this heist, I played it uh, on Mayhem to begin with loud. Then we jumped in to one down. It was a little bit challenging to do it loud, but then again... When you play a heist for the first time, you don't really know all of the ins and outs of it. So the different things that can change from one time to another kind of throw you off a little bit. But one down was completed. I think it was. I think we did it actually in the first try, maybe second try. I'm not entirely sure. But the stealth version of doing this heist, obviously, as you'll see in this video, can present some kind of unique issues that you don't really see in any other stealth ice. Now, this one actually took me a couple of tries to do. Now, we tried it with a team in my live stream and that didn't go down too well, but stealthing with a team on something new that we don't really know the ins and outs of it can always be a little tricky. But coming in and doing this solo, there's absolutely a ton of guards on this map. Now, you can obviously only bring a maximum of two body bag cases containing three in each, and you'll start off with two if you have the skill for it. So a maximum of eight, um, and then on this run, actually, something very strange happens to me, which on the two or three runs that I had before, plus the times that we tried stealthing it as a team, didn't actually happen. So, as you can see, these guys outside here do not have pages. The guys on the inside, however, do have pages, um, and sometimes you get some on the inside that don't also, from what I've seen. But these guys outside, because you kind of set up on a hill and there's parts of the map that you can't get to by jumping over the wall, you'll see that... I actually, or you can actually, go up to them next to the wall and if you've got a gun strong enough, like a shotgun, in my case the judge, with the greed camo, you'll see that I'm shooting them over either into the water or into the bush, just like this guy, and that saves you from needing a body bag. Now you can pretty much clear, I would say about 75% of the people on this outside area all the way around in fact if you just are a little bit patient and you can actually clear that many out just by shooting them over so if you're not playing this heist yet and you're thinking about it and getting the character pack and all of that good stuff then hopefully this video might help you make your mind up now if you do like stealth then this one might be for you it's a little challenging but it's not absolutely ridiculous i wouldn't say it's the most difficult stealth heist that's out there um, but to go over a little bit of the flow of what you actually have to do. So, you'll see that I just took out the guy there and got a USB stick. Now, the idea of that is that we put the USB stick into this computer here and then we hack. Now, the guy itself who's carrying the USB stick can spawn in three different spots. I got that one that you saw, obviously. And then again, the hacking spot can also spawn in two or three different locations. Usually in little outhouses like you just saw there. So this first spot that I'm currently in right now can spawn a couple of cameras, which can make this a little bit difficult. But you just heard that I've, I've got more guards on the way. Now, that was the thing that I've not got before. And it said, if you've got any dead bodies lying around, then you might want to clear them up. So I think that I'm in the ship because once you clear this section out, then nobody else comes down here. So I was a little concerned and thought it was time to start clearing up. So one thing you've got to note when you're down in this front area that these guys are so far removed from the guys up top that they can actually fire off a couple of shots and it doesn't alert the entire heist. So you don't have to get it 100% right. I was lucky in this spawn that I didn't get a camera up on this top section here or down in the middle there. So I'm able to bag a couple here. And I was a little concerned at this point because I'm wasting body bags. And now I didn't know where these people were going to spawn in. I actually did think that if extra guards are going to spawn in, well, the obvious place to be would be where I spawned in, and then they kind of just creep through the map. So that's kind of why I got a little concerned. And in fact, I think I did actually leave one down there, maybe the one that I blasted over the Watch first out. time. God. But Oh, well, I mean, obviously this is a successful run, or you wouldn't be watching the video, so nothing really comes of that down there. But you'll see when these extra guards turn up, it's very, very weird. Um, and I didn't expect it whatsoever. Now, I think we'll get like four or five extras show up, but they're not just your regular guys. They kind of have their guns drawn, and it's obvious that they're looking for something. So it's, it is pretty it is pretty cool, um, and it's a good random element that kind of pops up that I didn't expect, to be honest. So 
Now the hack is going, it's only a minute and a half hack on that computer, but I've noticed that every time that I did this, it stops the hack, it gets, it needs rewiring at least two and sometimes three times. So one thing that I was worried about this box, because it looks exactly the same one as the train heist, and in the train heist, when you're picking the lock, once it opens, if anyone sees it, gets their eyes on it, they're instantly alerted. Um, but that has never happened to me, although I have been cautious of it. And now, look at these guys. So the van shows up, and these four guards, five guards, get out. They've got guns drawn. They kind of crouch, and I'm thinking, well, okay, well, shit. This is, uh, this ain't looking too good for me. Or maybe it's only three, I don't know. It felt like five when I was doing it, because I was, like, looking around thinking, what the hell is going on? But they kind of, I didn't know where they were going to go, so I kind of wanted to follow this guy. And I also didn't know... And then the guy just chills out. He just stands there like a regular one. So I'm thinking, oh, maybe Watch out, they just God. stand there and do blah, blah, blah. So I kind of want to see what he did. And I was unsure whether these guys come with pages or not. But they look like the guys that are already outside anyway. So I thought, well, what, what the hell? So I end up killing one in a little bit anyway. Just to kind of, I think he actually catches me. I'm not too sure. But now it's back once you've rewired the thing. Back to the laptop for the, for the hack. Not much longer left on this one. Now... The whole idea of this one is to take down the shields on the front of the house or the side of the house, whichever it randomly spawns you. Um, so you can actually get in. It kind of releases the shutters, if you will. So we can actually get on the inside and do a little bit more of the heist itself. So this guy, now I'm thinking he's actually going to go down where I do not want him to go. And I also didn't know whether this was one of those things like frame in frame where they just come around, search, and I thought that guy was going then. Where they search around and then eventually leave once they realize that they found nothing. But there's a lot to see down in that bottom area, so I'm a little concerned. So I actually didn't mind the rewire box or circuit box to be down this bottom end here because I kind of want to be available in this area just in case they come down and happen to see dead bodies and body bags laying around. So it was, yeah, near I'm just kind of looking around to see if. Let's get it open. I did leave any bodies. I definitely did leave a body, but obviously they came in the van. They came on the side of the inside of the mansion, so it wasn't really such a big deal. Now we have to talk about how this heist looks and sounds, and the character himself, how he sounds. Now he sounds a little off. Now at the beginning, in the map briefing or the heist briefing, it says that we're going to Scarface's mansion. So obviously we are not Scarface ourselves, but we are kind of. Scarface because it's the Scarface character pack so whatever I mean the sound of it is pretty cool um, if I was to live commentate this as I was playing it you'd probably hear me do some reenactments of the voice itself and obviously they're not very good but they would make me laugh because I kind of like to do that kind of thing especially in live streams try and mimic some of the voices that <laughs> these characters do but regardless so Three seconds left on this hack, and then we are able to get on the inside. So, kind of cool on the inside. Not as lavish as you thought it might be. Kind of just standard little hallways. Um, now, the shutters can open here at the front, but I just kind of passed. Or they can open on the sides or on the back. And I think I do actually get the back ones on this one. So, not a bad little side here. Now, this part here itself... It's a guard. It's kind of tricky. There's usually a lot around here. Now, the guy with the USB stick can spawn out on that pier that kind of reaches off to to the middle of the sea there. And I've got one of my guys here with his guns drawn. But you can actually flip these guys over the edge into the river too. And I almost get spotted because I think I'm shooting one over when he actually doesn't make it. So you've got to be careful and try and get as close as you can when you go for these shots. Because if you try them at distance, they kind of just drop like a sack of spuds and don't fall over into the water so they can be seen luckily i was able to bag him pretty quick but it was when i bagged the guy you'll see that um i have to quickly take on one of the guys that came in so all these guys kind of walk close to the edge and you can just beast them the worst thing that can happen is you get too close and they get alerted because on one down the health is obviously buffed quite a lot even on stealth so it's so they're a one shot kill easily like that if you're stealthy and you're not they're not alerted but the second they get alerted they'll take a couple of headshots at the minimum so you got to be super careful um, 
So I want to enter in here because then it tells you the next step of the heist. Um, so you can get on with it. But there's, a guard. there's one of my there's boys, look, with his gun drawn out. Look out. And then there's another one here that I'm able to just hide behind the box and then just flick him over the top, which is kind of nice. And you're right, like I said, you're able to do this. And I thought he was going to go, and he did not. So I grab him, but then right behind me, look, is one of my boys. So I figure it's just best to take him out. And he took a couple of shots because he got alerted. Um, Place the body bag case stick the body bag case down, take my man. And then we're back in business again. So this area is pretty clear right now. Didn't really even have to make it down the other side. Thought that was body bags, but I was mistaken. So I've still got this uh, case here. Now, you'll see in the title that this is an all loot run. So you only need to take six bags with you. And it can be a little tricky up this top part. Because depending on how many of these guys are down below, or even up top, you kill really makes it a little tricky. There was... One time that I got to the top, Watch out. There's a guard. that you have to get into the door and there's a guy just standing there that's a static guard. And there's so many guards walking around, you'll see. And I actually make a serious boo-boo at one stage and think that I'm pretty much done. But then I realize, well, you'll see that. I mean, it, it is pretty crazy. And I also get detected a couple of times too, especially going for the all loot. But I wanted to, What I the only reason I wanted to do an all loot was was to see what kind of um, XP we can get and also how much money we can get from this because you see when either way you're doing it loud or stealth the same amount of bags show up so I wanted to see what the maximum payout was in both loot and XP so the next set here was we press the button open the shutters and now we've stashed a radio inside some of these little coke bags that have been hustled in so it's odd that the little bags of coke are laying around a mansion just willy-nilly and then this guy would would see me here, so I'm going to take care of him. Do the old switcheroo and just push him out of the way. This is not a door that's in front of me there. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Some kind of boarded up thing. I don't know. So I've got a body bag, and I'm quite near the front there where I can just throw this guy out. So it's not such a big deal. Are you drunk? So he's easily, he's easily taken out right here. Straight out the front door. Now that statue there reminds me of the... The, what was it? The Golden Cruise? The Custom Heist Golden Cruise? Look at the beautiful sunset out in the water there. Keep my body, ba body bag supplies high. Yeah. Plant pot. So next up is just to search through as many of this yayo. Now I've never heard of yayo as a term for coke. Um, but I guess I'm not cool enough to know the slang terms for, for coke. So... There's the radio that we get. Look out, guy. And now we have to actually make a phone call. And when I first heard this, it says you can't hang up and you'll most likely sound the alarm. So what I thought was that once we make this call, that a guard could actually spot the phone being off the hook or, or whatever it may be. So I was a little concerned and then actually found out what it was the second time I tried this heist and I got here so you interact with the phone and this is the call so basically you've got to treat this phone like a pager when you are answering off a guard or, or in any other heist if you stop make stop that phone call when you're making it the alarm's going to go off so that's pretty much what that means so you're safe right now like the, they're not going to see the phone off the hook uh, or you, there's no time limit on what you've got to do or anything like that. So it basically means if you take your finger off F while that circle's going around, the alarm's going, my friends. So next we're up on the balcony yeah, here. There's a guard. There's, that's the guard that I pointed out there out. to the left, who is standing in front of the door where we need to go to and uh, kill Mr. Whatever his name is. So I've got two guards roaming and one there. And this little spot here is my little safe zone where I'm going to use to store a couple of body bags and a couple of loot bags too. So I've only used one page, as you can see in the top right, with Wolf Hood. Now, Wolf Hood, it's mysteriously enough on this one, and I'm sure it'll probably come in, a, in an update ASAP, is it's not telling me how many guards are on the map, which I think is a little odd, which would have been nice to actually know that, especially when the extras show up. Now, consider taking this dude out, um, but then glad I didn't because I, these guys now have pages, so... 
I really did not want to be sitting here with that other guy walking around. So the idea now is just to time this. So one went in, and there's a downstairs area when we actually go in here. So they don't just kind of go in and hang out where that guy is there. They will actually head downstairs too, like you'll see now. So the other guy is over on the other side. And I've really got to think about how the hell I'm going to get this dude. Careful, there's a guard. There is a door, and I thought someone came out the door and turned there, but there is a door on the other side, but it's not actually open, but there is kind of a bedroom through there, so he can opt into there. And I'm thinking at this point that maybe that big column in the middle of the screen would stop this guy from seeing, but luckily I used the sixth sense skill just to see that somebody's on the inside there, so. Time to run. Thought he was coming out. So the idea is... Pretty much here. I don't want to shoot him into the building. Um, and I can't shoot him out of the building. But I, I am able to kind of get beside him. And shoot him away from the building a little bit. But it's just a matter of getting the exact right timing for it. So obviously this means that there's no possible chance of doing this as a pacifist run. Or like the, the 145 murky difficulty mod. Unfortunately. Because you have to... You have to kill the guy to get the USB Watch stick. Out, and then you have to kill this guy too. He's a guard. So He's the a minimum guard. would be two. Which means that you can't even do it on the professional difficulty. Which is only one pager. So that's kind of... That's kind of okay. Because I'm kind of done with that mod anyway. After I did the train. So here we go. So I give him a couple of shots. And I thought for a second. I sent him over the balcony. Hey, which would have probably been game over at that point. My shift, you so now it's just a matter. As long as no one comes out. I'm pretty much okay. okay what's, going on with your voice? what's going on with your voice? <laughs> yeah, you sound a little weird, mate. So this... I didn't know that that was a safe spot, but I kind of guessed it. That it was kind of put there for that. Because I've seen guards come all the way up to it. So I kind of realised that no one's... No one's going by it. They'll just come up to it. So now... It's just a matter of getting eyes on... The two or three guards that are in and out of this space... And I don't mind trying to zip by him, but obviously not there. So I've still got two pages, so I really can just take out two of these. But I think there's actually four around here, or maybe even a little more, because when I'm trying to leave, it gets a little hairy. I do end up using all my pages and doing something very stupid. But it does, set, it does stay 100% stealth. There's no cheesy ECM rush at the end just to get the last bag or anything. Although it... It could have happened. I was in the predicament, and, and we'll get to it, but I'm in the predicament where it could it could have gone loud at any point. It's a guard. I think I was just a little lucky. So there's three left in there, and they're all upstairs, which kind of blows. They're all just... And I just need to get in that door on the right there. So he's down. And I have to pick the lock too, so it's not like I can just run over and open the door real quick. Actually, I have to... And then I thought I was in the shit here. So I figured it's best to take him out. And I think I've got his head covered behind those boxes, so I'm okay. So <laughs> page of voice lines for this guy are awesome. So that's two there. So now i got one left. So I did think about just taking one of these guards out just because it would be easier. And then this is, luckily it's not a big pick. I'm sure I, I may have even been able to shoot that door. I'm not too sure. Then in here, in, in the office, quick shot. And the, the, your boy's dead there. Then it's a matter of just open the lid, press the button. And then the big safe comes up. And we have to secure six bags of money. The Coke is optional extra. Just have to do the six money. So I'm kind of looking right now, like, where do I take this damn thing? Because it doesn't say. So then I see this ladder. I'm thinking, well, I got that in pre-planning. But why? And then I look over it. But there's a million guards down there. So I'm thinking... And then I see the escapes this way. So why would I go down that ladder to go all the way around the building? When, in fact, going this way was probably... Watch well, probably because, probably because it'd be easier. So I have to just double check. It's probably easier to go this way if you clear the guards out front. But there's okay. so many down there that... At this point, I just did not think that that was easier. So, as long as I can Watch keep six cents alert and just get an eye on, on the three guards that are out here, then this shouldn't be an issue. 
So he says at least. Careful, there's a guard. And then obviously coming out of here, thought I was toasted then, not too shabby. So the idea here is just to store them there, Watch out. It's a guard. because I feel like it's a guard. if you've got a good Watch run, and this applies to no any heist guard. in my opinion, when you've got to go in and out of somewhere that could be a little tricky, to secure some loot or whatever it might be. See if you got the sh if you got the chance to just run in and grab it and then get the hell out of there, because you know the whereabouts for like for the next five to ten seconds, then just throw them to an easy spot that you think safe, so you can easily just do a run from it at that at that stage. Look out, guard! Look out, guard! Watch out! There's a guard! Whoop! Look out, guard! And he's actually coming to me. But this music's so atmospheric, I love it. And the music on Loud too is superb. This guy's wiping uh, dog poop off his shoe. Careful, there's a guard. So now we just want to see what the hell it's a guard. he's gonna do. Watch out, guard. It's a guard. But there is a there is one of those moments where it was at this moment he knew. Guard. But it doesn't turn out to be one, so it's a guard. here we go. Look out, guard. Time to get your crap together, dude. So there is also an achievement for doing this heist under 13 minutes. It has to be on mayhem difficulty or above. I was obviously not going for that, especially with an all loot run. You only have to get the six bags. I'm not sure if you have to get less than six if you're doing it on a lesser difficulty. So guards can be coming up those stairs at any time. Get a couple of crafty ones right down there, no problemo. And I thought it weird that they were all downstairs at that stage. And then my screw-up's got to come soon, I'm pretty sure of it. Maybe it's when I'm securing bags, but it's when I'm in this area here. It's a serious boo-boo. Nice lavish office. So now I'm thinking it maybe it's quicker just to throw all the bags against the wall. So it allows me to just run up, grab, considering whether I should secure or what. And this is the boo-boo. <laughs> Proper smash the glass. More than one pain, so one completely smashed. Yeah, that's right. I'm fucking okay. Now leave me the fuck alone. Another one is cracked. Another weird response like So I now I'm thinking, wow, I'm totally wrecked. So now look, like right, it's proper smashed. So now I'm thinking, well, yeah, I could at least try now. Cause now I'm thinking literally it's done. Right, that there's no way. I only have to go this far with it. And they're secured. Now I'm thinking I'm totally done. It's just a matter of time before that guard goes back to that area. So I'm a starting to be a little reckless with this kind of stuff because I've just got my ECM ready at this stage, just ready to plop it down. It's pretty tense. So there's three halfway there, and I'm ready to go after I get the six, to be honest. But I think some, uh, some guard comes close and doesn't see it. Like, I think that guard's there right about now, and he doesn't see it. So once I realized that, I then realized that... We and that was 
Look, he's literally as close as he'll be to it, and he doesn't see it. So now I know that I can do an all loot run. Watch out, guard. And it's totally smashed. <laughs> totally, totally smashed that glass. And the escape's right here too, so at, th at this stage, if I did want to, or if they did see that, I could easily just ECM and get that last bag and be done. I thought I got my last bag around the corner, but Watch out. There's a guard. I actually threw it against the wall. So it's time to get the last bag out of here. So you can see a 13 minute run might be a little tricky, but I guess on Mayhem, less guards, less cameras might be a little bit easier. Because that could be done at 26, I guess. So that is that. So obviously you can see that the video is a little longer than 26 minutes. Like I said, there is an all loot run here. There's a couple of hair raising moments for sure. Um, some 99% detection, a guarantee. Um, but other than that, so final thoughts on the heist. If you like stealth and want to challenge, definitely go ahead and get it. Um, loud 2 is pretty fun. One down is pretty fun. Um, it just takes a little bit of time to get used to, like any other heist. The, the heist itself looks and sounds beautiful. The character himself is pretty awesome. Um, but that is pretty much it for me. If you uh, care to see the rest of the tenseness of getting all of this loot that you see in front of me, I think it's another two bags of money and seven or nine bags of coke. Like I say, it does get a little hairy. Um, so enjoy that if you will, and I will see you guys in my next video. Watch out, guard. Guard. Look out, guard. Watch out, guard. It's a guard. God. Watch out, God. Watch out, guard. Look out, guard. It's a guard. Look out, guard. Careful, there's a guard.
Watch out, guard. Look out, guard. Watch out, guard. Look out, guard. God. Look out, God. It's a God. Watch out, it's a God. Watch out, guard. Guard. He's a guard. Watch out, there's a guard. Watch out, guard. He's a guard. Guard. Careful, there's a guard.
walk out with God. While the world sleeps, we rub it blind. 